Hello, I'm Smoky957 and welcome to episode 4 of my Eagle Rock playthrough here in Old World Blues, a Fallout Overhaul mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Now, this is my 7th attempt at this episode and you might be wondering why and I will tell you. I have a fairly decent industry now, 31 arms factories and 29 civilian workshops. I am making a good amount of money. What I am seriously lacking is manpower and also amount, the amount of units. The What I should be going for uh, against next is Lanius' cohort, which means of course also going up against all his buddies in Kaiser's Legion, which means when I go to war with him I am outnumbered at least 8 to 1 <coughs> so it has not ended well on most of the occasions so what I'm going to be focusing on to start off this episode is increasing my manpower however I can so that means laborers whenever it becomes available I will not be taking the slaves as I do not want to lose 3% of my stability every time I buy them. So instead it will be laborers and then military signing bonuses and grain solicitations. I'll also be trying to call my ca the captured territories as fast as possible. And I am currently setting up my army to take on the luminous ones next. Okay, so synthetic polymers is finished. That has given me some precious resources that I need for my industry. My next focus will be claiming canyons, which is all about getting another reduction in coring costs and a boost to my compliance and resistance target. Now you will notice these uh, red swords here, and that is because Twin Mothers is justifying against me. They have done that every single time and right now the justification is set to finish 16th of June. Okay, that is because they are only justifying for one uh, state. Th this justification has been uh, slightly different every single time depending on how many states they try to justify on. So this date could either be somewhere between middle of June or middle of October. Personally, I'm happy to get it over and done with sooner rather than later. Okay, I have finished claiming canyons. And so now I will start my focus clearing the rebels so I can get my war goal on the luminous ones. And I thought perhaps it would be a good idea to actually cover some of the ideas that have not worked. Not only if you get stuck in a similar situation here with Eagle Rock, but if you get stuck in any kind of similar situation, like playing against any other nation against someone that uh, numerically is far superior to you. So in my first two attempts, I kept to my standard tablets that I've been using. And the first one I did one big army order fighting up against Iron Alliance and Lannis' cohort. And in my second attempt I made two armies, one to go against Iron Alliance and one to go south against Lannis. <coughs> now because my templates are pretty good, um, they did very very well until they got too spread out. And then because they simply had more numbers than me, they were able to push me back. And once I started going backwards, I couldn't stop. On attempts three and four, respectively, I tried firstly uh, just using support robot to, uh, a 20 with template. And in attempt number four, I tried a proper combat and support robot divisions. The problem I had with that is because I am using, uh, where is it now, refined warfare, I don't have any good bonuses for ro robotic warfare. So 
they couldn't advance and for some reason the Iron Alliance was especially good at piercing their armor and so they just got wasted. So that didn't work. Uh, attempt number five, I actually decided to try and go through here. I took out the foragers and circled junction and then try to go through twin mothers to try cut them in half. That worked quite well up until I got down here next to Navarro and the reservation because Lanius is part of the Khazar's Legion who are at war with the NCR. As soon as I got around this this area here, they both decided that they also wanted to join into the war. So then I was faced with this area here, the bottom of all twin mothers and here and again I was just outnumbered and pushed back so that didn't work what almost did work quite well is my last attempt which I made last night I actually navally invaded and conquered the Iron Alliance but then I was got into a bit of a stalemate with Lanius because I now had two armies on two different fronts and not enough manpower to actually link them up along the river here. He couldn't push me, I couldn't push him, and so it ended up in a bit of a stalemate that just couldn't get around. So that is why I've opted to go for attempt number seven. And when planning for this one, I realized that this whole time I've always been trying to go up against the Iron Alliance and Lannis's cohort, where are, there are quite a few other territories here in Colorado that are part of my focus tree to, to, to conquer, but it is later on here towards the end. So what my objective for this episode is, is to actually take out Luminous Ones, Baggers and Withered Dogs, possibly also Foragers, Claim Jumpers and Circle Junction. So I will actually still be doing something, but at the same time growing my army as much as I can to take out the Lanius and the Iron Alliance in my next episode. The only thing that will change my plan is on two occasions, on two previous attempts, the Rio Pact also went to war against Khazar's Legion and that changes things quite a lot. So if that happens, I may still go to war with Lanius this episode, but otherwise this episode will be based on taking out these six minor nations, of course, along with Twin Mothers who wants to pick a fight with me. Okay, so my focus clearing the rebel is finished. Uh, one thing I didn't record, I realized, is after my last, last focus, I used up my saved up political power to get funded militias. This is the highest I am willing to go my construction or as I don't want to start running into the negatives for increasing my recruitable population. Now, for clearing the rabble, you do get a decision to do a dispute of territories they they've never given it so i'm not going to even bother because i have a total of i think it's two months and two weeks until twin mothers finish the justification so there is no time to waste my next focus is going to be robotic soldiers as i want the 200 scrap bots and the research bonus for robots. I will explain that after my war here against the luminous ones. So there's nothing for me to do except declare war and hope that they can get this done as soon as freaking possible. There are four victory points I need to take out, one here on the river then three as you go down. Thankfully the one advantage of refined warfare 
is even though it does low your credible population it is in my opinion the best land doctrine for the way I'm fighting which is getting the absolute most out of a small military I was considering changing to conventional warfare but I've opted not to as you need not only a massive industry to support it but also a massive amount of manpower and I don't have either so I'll be sticking with refined warfare <coughs> okay just what two left chug water and how you pronounce this okay just chug water left I have got them set to go aggressively so they'll waste as little time as possible but so far we are doing quite good 22 days so far and almost there we go luminous ones have been conquered something I just want to mention I forget to show sometimes you always use the big turbine set of, of equipment you capture but if you actually put your mouse over here you can actually get the full list of everything else that you seize which is pretty interesting that they do that so that's done instantly I'm going to set up my army here around twin mothers uh, a word of advice do not um, well frankly don't half ass it against twin mothers they do outnumber me just over two to one and if you go anything less than full out they will become quite a problem now I did mention some things that didn't work earlier and I did now actually want to take a chance and mention three things that have worked in my previous uh, three playthroughs one of them is oh good that's done oh two done awesome one is a defensive line that I have built or that I've been building along this territory here it will consist of one bunker and three outposts now I found that this seems to be the magic recipe for defending against AI at least because together those four things will give you a 32% attack penalty to have is attacking you so if you can have troops on the border with that combination and if you do the do the mass three outposts is only a, a slightly more expensive than building one bunker AI generally you can hold off against quite a strong AI another thing that I found quite surprising and I might be using it a lot more in the future is I'm going to be using a this template here as my garrison law or garrison unit once I can get some more robots now currently I'm using this militia force template and I want to point out that for it's cost me 250 manpower to get 20 resistance now what I discovered works quite nicely is this template gives me 10 suppression so I mentioned 20 resistance uh, 20 suppression with the militia force so 10 but only at the cost of 50 manpower so using two of these 100 manpower I'll get the same suppression of 20 and I'll be saving 150 and that has worked whenever I've used it in bringing saving me quite a lot of manpower so and then lastly these wonderful blimps that I have been using I haven't really used them a lot in the past because of the production cost but they work damn nicely so let me just set up my research now I'm going to carry on with getting next up a droids if you want to also try using robots for 
uh, your garrison wall. I recommend the two protectrons as they are the only ones out of this bunch that give a nice proper boost to the suppression of the template to make it actually even stronger. And then here I've done all the manpower ones I can, so I want to build a little bit faster first. So metal working it is. All right, robotic soldiers is finished. Now, because of that nice quick war, I'm able to take cleansing radiation, which will give me the same kind of uh, reduction and boosts that cl uh, clearing the canyons did. And now also with my war imminent with twin mothers, I want to start justifying against the beggars. So that will take 205 days. Now, if you are not like me and you want to wait, you can get a war goal via the focus tree. And that will obviously be possibly instantaneous. I'm just decided to take on these small guys instead of this menace that is Lanius. And also I want to mention that f my efforts are starting to pay off and my manpower is starting to go into the green. Once I get above a thousand, I will actually start recruiting more infantry units to try beef up my divisions. Alright, cleansing radiation is done, so back to my focuses to get my research boost. Going to go with imposing robots. Not really worried about the heavy lifter bots, but I do want this another 25% research boost. And the next time I should speak to you is when we go to war with twin mothers. Okay, so four days after their justification ended and outnumbered at least two to one. Let's see how long it takes me to take care of the twin mothers. Now this is where I've seen this against the whole different nations. The AI templates are just not filling that 60 comet with efficiently where I am. And that is one of the reasons why I'm doing so much better than them. Let's just start making my, let's can carry on, next level of commercial security droids. Okay, we're already pushed in here. Jet engine is also done. I want to take use of the two year bonus to get flying armor for more air defense. Okay, oh, they're really pushing. Yep. Oh, great. Okay, we've got them encircled. That's got to be how many? 15 units at least. Okay, I finished imposing robots. Next, I want to start the next set of research, which will be refurbishing motorcycles, some vehicle technology boost, and 200 salvage motorcycles. Just for me. Okay, we should start, there we go, the helmets are popping. And every one of those that pops is more war score for me. Uh, it, it's still weird to see blimp style popping though. Don't know if I'm ever going to get used to that. There we go, and done. So, picked up a whole bunch of robots and everything else. <coughs> I'll take all of your territory, thank you very much. And then set up my army to go against the beggars. 
We're still going to keep them on aggressive. I don't want to waste too much time here with each law war. And I should be going how long until 23rd of November, so a couple of months. And then instantly, what I want to do is since I now have over 1200 support robots is change whoops sorry change my garrison law to my eagle rock security and i look all looks red now but i'll show you soon that everything worked out nicely and here we go proof is in the pudding uh, a few days later all my Robots have been deployed out to act as my garrison units. I still have 400 in the bank. And I have gained an extra 1,700 manpower. So that will be going straight into building my army up. Yep. Eight, that's enough, yes. We'll stick with that. Okay, so refurbishing motorcycles is done. Next I'm going for makeshift tanks which will give me 200 units of improvised tanks and another bonus to research which is what I'm going to be researching once I've done all of my robots that I want to get. Okay so the focus on makeshift tanks is finished. <coughs> the next two focuses I plan on doing is first of all wind farms which will give me an extra full power in the Unita Mountains and then after that I'm going to do steam methane reforming so the production cost on my airships goes down as but unfortunately so does my reliability but it is what it is and now that I have finished researching everything I can right now in the engineering tab until I can buy the sophisticated I am going to continue on with my refined warfare reduction with walking tanks and something else I wanted to mention is that I am now currently producing the protection mark 1 and the temp that I was using for security has now gone from a suppression of 10 to a suppression of 16 so now to get the same 20 suppression with this militia instead of using 250 manpower I'm probably using about 70 so that is now why I'm getting such a nice big saving here and it can only get better once I've finished the Mark II protectrons all right so that is these last two focuses for resources and production done Next, I'm going to be focusing on completing these four. So, expanded moorings will give me uh, uh, an extra three air bases at Eagle Rock. Protect your port will give me an outpost and coastal fort at Eagle Rock, just for extra bit of defense there. And then, spoils of the vaults will give me the ability to purchase a water chip, a GEC and a Voltec technology if I want it and then lastly power of the atom will give me the ability to purchase mini nukes but what I still really want to purchase is the vertebrate schematics but uh, because I've been spending so much money on my manpower I haven't yet reached the 600,000 caps I need to get it but next time I speak to you should be in about a month or so when my justification on the beggars is finished. Alright, my justification against uh, the beggars is finished. So I'm going to declare war on them straight away. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough political power yet to declare on the withered dogs but I think I need another 20 or so so I will do that as soon as I can to continue my conquest there and you can see I have been able to grow my army quite a bit I have taken it back down to just recruiting 
two units at a time down from eight and I've also been able to start my production or training of my uh, armored companies that I want to use the template's not quite finished yet I will show it to you uh, when I'm done but for now let's bag me some baggers okay again they are set still set to advance aggressively I don't want to waste any time I'll get these done as fast as possible okay there's my expanded moorings done like I said next will be protect the port let me carry on going Oh, what do I have? oh yes, finally I can get Improvisation Expert for 10% extra movement on land. I still regret making a mistake here with getting him Idiots of Hunt instead of Mysterious Stranger, but okay. And my night vision devices are done. So next for infantry equipment will be Mechanized Training for more speed again. Okay. I've had no problem this entire playthrough with these smaller nations. It's these big ones that have been giving me issues. Okay, steam pipe extraction done. I've got a lot to build, so I want to continue by doing bricks. My construction queue is still quite lo long, even though I do have over 20 factories. Uh, I feel like I've still got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, all green, and uh, they just don't have what it takes. So it's just two more Kimball and Briggsdale left, and that should be it. Yes, it is. Okay, so I will take everything. And now I will hopefully have enough so I can justify on. Let's go for old sterling. Yes, okay, 46, 230 days. That's quite a wait. Let me just put them on the front line here quickly. And what I'm going to do is continue my defensive line I have here because three times out of my previous six attempts I have been randomly attacked twice by Lone Tree, once by Crazy Horns as there's a part in their focus tree somewhere, see if I can find it quickly that gives them, yes, oh yeah, for example here, the Crusade Gain war goals on two of your neighboring infidels, which I suppose is me. And there's no warning, there's just a... Uh, So-and-so has changed the diplomatic status to declare war. And that has left me with uh, a very hard line to defend. So if it comes down to in the future that I'm fighting... Uh, Lanius and all his buddies and one of them d does decide to do that at least I'll have a r I reckon it's a relatively short defensive line I can pull back to while I sort that out and then restart my advance it's another reason why I'm trying to grow my army as fast as possible okay let's carry on all right it's been a year since I started this episode a year in game that is um and as quick progress update I'm fairly happy with it what's happening so far I have basically doubled my army in the space of a year I've called about I think it's three or four states here lower down done very well with my 
um, it was my robots in uh, as my garrison law. I'm very happy about that. Although I see I need to move my operative here to there, take care of care of the resistance. And then I also want to give a quick update on my templates for those that haven't seen it. So all my templates are 20 width. And I, as always, make sure, try to make sure my organization is as high as possible. 30 is the absolute minimum. 40 is what you should aim for and anything better is good. And for my power armor and my armored, I've gone for as high a breakthrough as possible. Both want 40. Unfortunately, Okay, this is my armor template, so three tanks, two motorized infantry, and then mo mobile fire team and mobile demo to get the best I can. Organization is as low as I dare. This template will only work as a battering ram. In defense, it will not hold up very well, even though the defense rating is pretty good this organization will drop low and they'll retreat <coughs> but they are here f because eventually I will run out of heavy special forces and I need some breakthrough units because my infantry is my defensive unit at uh, breakthroughs a hundred less than the other two very high defense very high organization but not the best on attack my I can actually take that away no, no, not just there. Okay. My security is now up to 16 with the um, Mark II protectrons at the cost of 50 manpower. So if you have the industry to do it, I'm going to try to do this more in the future. Okay, update done. Time to carry on. All right, so power the atom is finished. So that means I've finished all the focuses on the left-hand side here. Yeah, so all the economic ones are done. The only ones I have left for me to do are these ones here for my naval tech. So I'll be going through these. And I'll be ending... So, okay, let me actually go through. So I'll get three naval dockyards in Eagle Rock with this one. I'll get 85,000 caps there. This will give me uh, 50 units convoys and make my light ship hulls, not that I'm building any, uh, cheaper and faster to produce. Cutters will give me a research bonus on the le number le or level 2 light ship. Escort fleet will give me 3 light ships, which is pretty nice. And then last but not least, I'll get Masters of Air and Sea, which will give me plus 5% at attack and defense. I'm not sure if this is only for air and sea units or if it's also for my land units. I have to try and find that out later. I would like to interrupt the scheduled um, programming to announce that finally, almost a year and a half after I finished this episode and probably three years since I did the focus, I can now finally purchase the vertebra schematics although it still take a hundred days before I'm able to research them at least finally it's done so the next one I will aim at purchasing is advanced weaponry for 500 okay my justification against uh, the withered dogs is finished so it is time for me to declare My last, my last war in the north. Okay. Whoop, didn't start them off. Okay, rubber refinement. I'm sticking with my trucks here, so I'll be going for salvage trucks there. And basic infantry equipment's done, so that is actually all of it done. Um, instead of doing, I'm not going to do the crowd control gear here. Don't need it. Don't want it. Instead, I will continue upgrading my 
support support equipment that I actually use. I haven't yet gotten to the point where I'm researching things just for the sake of researching it, but I'm sure that the time will come soon enough. Let's see if we can see my tank in action. I've got one tank unit. Ah, not seeing it. Where is he now? Ah, there he is. A oh, nice little unit model. Okay, just two more Clear Creek and Hollyoak left. I didn't have enough political power to start justifying on the foragers. So that'll have to happen. Put as Murphy would have when this all war's finished. And it's done. So with the dogs, take all of you. And so Eagle Rock is now the masters of the air and sea. So now the last focus I have available to me is Denver, Colorado. And this will give me the claims and territory dispute decisions for the hang dogs territory, which I won't be taking until it's more advantageous for me, probably next episode. But what I have decided to do is instead of going after claim jumpers, circle junction and the foragers, instead since Lone Tree has attacked me by surprise two out of six times, I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen again and I have started my justification which will finish on the 24th of February 2282. Well what do you know with just under two months left to go until my own justifi uh, justification against Long Tree is finished, they have surprise, surprise, declared war on me. S and also the white legs. So let me make short work of this and then prepare for Lanius and friends. Okay. Fall of the National Guard. Ah. Okay. So now that I'm actually prepared for them, this should not take long at all. I've still got everyone set to aggressive. So we should eat this up quite quickly. And then I do want to prepare because while I was being raided by the Iron Alliance, the Rio Pact has declared war on Khazar's Legion. So that will mean some of his, well, hopefully a lot of his forces will be down south. So I can take advantage of that. And, but I would be conquering a lot more territory. Let me... Do this. There, I need more robots. Here we have here. Okay. Yes, so I only want to. You must have forces pulled down south, so I want to start my own war against them as soon as possible because I do not want to have to fight a war later on against the Rio Pact. I want to take advantage. I just need the hangdog territory the way I understand it from the focus tree. And then I can move on after that. There's no actual focus to get a war goal on Lanius, just uh, something to help prepare against his attack. This is going very well, beating out White Claws quite easily how to take this territory protected storage is done. Oh yes, I have also started the research of my vertebrate uh, so that will be in production as soon as I possibly can. Well, I can see I'm going to be doing this a lot. 
I've got no beef with the white legs yet. Although we might have to go to war with them later on to complete the focus tree. But for now, I don't need to keep him on the on that border uh, again. Oh, close over here. Oh, this won't take long. I don't think I'll even need to get to the capital. One, two, three victory points left. There you are. <coughs> okay, can't call anything. Uh, let me up this as well now to some Wasteland Survival Training there. Yeah, you know, wild legs have given up. Nothing for them to do. Rough farm tools. Okay, let's go rapid uh, prototyping. Alright. Oh, how many here? 11 units encircled. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late. They almost conquered but uh, uh, thank you for playing Lone Tree or Long Tree cooling jacket so that is, is everything I want from my support tech for now vehicles is almost done robots are almost done let me get some upgrades actually no let me just do some naval tech let's do this cutter hull to start off with until I'm waiting I need just under 200,000 and then I will be able to there we go buy my sophisticated infantry tech right, let's look at getting a new trait here what do we have oh logistics wizard thank you I'll definitely take that and the second division what have you got here is he close to getting a terrain trait yet? 53 Desert Fox. I'll hold on to it for now. Oh yes, straight onto the gunship. Come here. I'll put you down at the bottom there. Let's make quite a few of you for now. There we go. Oh, looks like I am going to have to take Jackson to finish this off. Aliens. Something horrible is happening, the air marshal. Monsters with razor sharp teeth and poisons, tentacles are taking outlying settlements in some cases isolated patrols. These monsters attack with their gross per whatever the hell that is and spread radiation wherever they go as if they feast upon the wasteland's decay. One of these monstrosities and will they ever let us be? Alien infestation? Okay, don't get that very often. Done it. There we go. Lone tree is mine. Okay, I can't take everything. I'm just short. Just let me do 
this okay you can go away that's everything except for there and I'll take that now thank you very much done so it took all states and everything is done so now I'm going to end the episode here but before I go I want to I got the decision to oh okay the decision is gone my decision to dispute the territories the hang dogs was here it's not anymore but hopefully yes okay I am going to justify on dog city that will take 50 days I at the cost of 10 political power and in the beginning of the next episode I'll go to war with Lanius and his friends. Thank you all very much for watching, and goodbye.